As you know, the original stock set of tools for Yamaha 700 Tenere is not really completed, so I have to build my own. Believe it or not, but these are all the tools that I'm gonna carry with me on all of my trips. And what is the most important is that I'm gonna keep all of these in the bike all the time, not in the box, in the bike. So in this video, I plan to show you everything with detail. So if you have nothing to do, grab your favorite drink and stay with me. Welcome back, as you know or maybe you don't, but after two weeks I will start my next long motorcycle trip to Portugal. I plan to have something like uh, at least 10,000 kilometers and maybe month or a little bit longer. And for that purpose I will need tools. And here now you may say, Pavel, you have brand new bike, why you need tools? For example, to change the oil, I have to change it somewhere. Or to repair the tires, or who knows? I don't want to start without any tools, even that I have a brand new bike. And as I told you, the stock tools are actually pointless, so I built my own. Let me show you all the tools that I'm gonna carry and where I'm gonna keep it. Before I start, let me make it absolutely 100% clear. The tools that I'm going to show you are not universal, they are only for this model, Tenere 700, I basically walked around and checked all the numbers that I'm going to need to make a simple things like to change the brake pads or remove the tires or change the oil, working with cables or stuff like that, some adjustments. If I have a serious technical problem, I cannot fix it anyway. These are the tools that I'm gonna need just to keep the bike running without any problems or with very small problems. You have to understand this because some people believe that, oh, I have a brand new bike, nothing gonna happen. This is not a guarantee, everything could happen. And as I said, you cannot fix serious problems, but sometimes just a number 10, for example, might change the whole trip. So let's start with the tools. So this is basically everything. I have a number 27 to remove the rear wheel. Of course, I've got this pipe to have a more lever and more uh, um, power to tight it. And I have this number 22, which I use here, number 22 here. And then here I have on the front, I have 19 to remove the front wheel. Of course, again, with the help of the, this pipe, the lever. So rear wheel, front wheel, this pipe, all of this is set. Then I'm gonna have this, I forgot what was the name of this ratchet, or I think it was ratchet, with a long extension if I need it. I have number, what was the number? 13 once, I have 12, I have 10 and 8. I have also this adapter to go to the small numbers if I need it. It's necessary, I know this from my experience I used many times. I have a normal wrenches 12 and 10. This is mostly to adjust the chain on the rear side. I have a screwdriver, flat and normal in the case I need it. I have three Allen keys, exactly what I need on the bike. And this is the, the tool to remove the oil filter. All of these tools will stay on the bike. I'm gonna show you after a while. This is the set of brake pads, rear brake pads, because uh, on my old Tenere, they finish usually between 8 and 10,000 kilometers and I expect this Tenere to be the same because I use the rear all the time. I use front and rear all the time. I'm an old uh, school guy. I use both brakes all the time and I know that this will finish. That's why I have a spare with me. In this box, this is already something that do not stay on the bike. It stay in my luggage and it is something like uh, stuff that I might need it. On the left compartment I've got everything to repair the tire. I have patches, this is a soap and water mix. If you will need to remove the tire it will be easy. I have CO container that I can use to inflate the tire and some small zip ties. On the right hand side I've got a multi-set to check if I have some electric problems. A few meters of cables and of course uh, duct tape and here I have uh, spare fuses for everything. So these are the tools and the spare parts that I'm gonna carry with me. As I said, these things, this one and uh, 
this is the a tube for the front i'm gonna have a tube for the rear 21 and 18 i'm gonna have it with me so the tubes and this plastic box will stay in the luggage but these things include the brake pads will stay on the bike let me show you this is the old leather set that i've got I use it for many many years on my old Tenere, again it has some kind of sentimental value so I, I will keep everything inside, you see what is the order and then I just twist it like that and put it under the seat and inside of this tool that I've got to remove the oil filter I keep the rest of the tools just like this and then I put it in this waterproof bag just to keep them here i don't want them to go around motorcycle so they'll stay here tight it with this rubber band and then the seat go in the original position good the rest of the tools will go here under the seat also the brake pads now you can see why they are isolated even if they move around they're not gonna touch any cables and create any problems with the installation and to put this seat back it's a little bit difficult mostly because i have this cable here it's actually requires a little bit more patience but yes job done the tire brake levers are too long to be hidden under the seat and I don't want to keep them in the luggage because sometimes I ride without the luggage and I still want to have it with me that's why I tied it here with zip ties what I have to do is uh, constantly checking the zip ties because sometimes they cut and you might lose it but this is not a problem, I'm gonna do it a few months ago I chopped the tail and I was aware that if it's too short some mud will go on my back it's not really going on my back but it's going on my rear seat and this part is always always dirty that's why i decided to make this extension here i made it from uh, aluminum it's like uh, eight centimeters more than the number plate and i hope that now it will work it's not that really pretty but it will do the job and the most important it is light this is basically everything about the tools i'm gonna record another one video to show you what exactly i'm gonna have in my saddlebag in my tank bag and everything but now before i finish let me show you what i have done with this room over there the first is the door here i have some stickers and everyone who will ever come to my garage will be free to put his sticker or whatever he has his advertisement on this door this door or on the rear side of this door so this now is my man cave as you say i've got this big sofa here table this is uh, the place where i can have a tea coffee whatever i'm gonna have all the glasses here everything that i need to meet anyone in my garage on this part will stay all of my riding gear that i've got at the moment i have a few more things but they'll be hung here anyway so the idea is when i coming from the right i can hang them here and they can stay here on the wind because when this window is open and this door is open it's always current here so they will dry very very quick so i made this holder with this shape and this one here on the top is to keep my hats like this yeah it's not really pretty but it's absolutely practical and here on the bottoms are my boots everything that i need to ride so this is the room where i'm going to relax and this world map i kept for many many years it was in germany i always move whatever i go with the map and here i will make my plans all the time that is everything so next time when you're in bulgaria you can contact me and we're gonna have beers in that room and then you can put the stickers on my door thank you very much for all the people who already supported my trip you're my heroes always ride safe and see you next time ciao